To use the QuickBooks link export file in QuickBooks, you'll need to set up a few things in your QuickBooks program. For example, for each school that you've set up in ProCare, you'll need to know the school code. If you click on the Change School button here, you'll see the code listed here. If you only have one school, you'll see it listed right here under My Region. So in this sample, My School 2, the school code is S2. So the customer name that you'll need to set up in QuickBooks will be called ProCare-S2 or ProCare-S1. Let's go over to QuickBooks and show you how to create that along with the two accounts that you'll need. One of those accounts is for the undeposited payments and another account called the balancing account. That'll just be a current asset account. And lastly, you'll need to export the chart of accounts from QuickBooks. And here is a sample QuickBooks program. To set up a customer, you simply go to the customer center. Your version of QuickBooks may be different than this. And also, if you need help with any of the QuickBooks parts that you're seeing in this video, ProCare does not support setting these things up in QuickBooks. You would need to get help from your QuickBooks technical support people. So here you can go into the customer center and create a new customer. Up at the top, this would be the customer that matches up to your school. So create a new one there and create a new one here for however many schools you have. And that's all you need to do there. To add the accounts, you'll need to add a balancing account and also an account for undeposited funds. You can reach your chart of accounts depending on your version of QuickBooks from various spots. So once you're in the chart of accounts here, create a new account if you need to. I have already created my undeposited funds account. That's right here. I'm going to add uh, an account for balancing and I'm just going to call that another current asset. Continue there and just call it Procure Balancing Account and then save and close. And that's all I need there. The last thing you need to do is export the chart of accounts. So after you've created the customers, after you've created those two accounts here in the chart of accounts, you'll need to export the chart of accounts. In this version of QuickBooks, that is available under the Utilities menu, and then Export, and then List to IIF Files. And the List to IIF Files is going to look like this. I just want to select the chart of accounts say OK and then it's going to bring me up a spot where I can designate where I want that chart of accounts to go. And I'm just going to call it the QB2 chart of accounts file, save it and that will export to my desktop. And now I'm ready to go forward with the QuickBooks link setup in ProCare.